Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to be talking about my book review on Random Family as promised here it is I think I finished this like a week and a half ago or a week ago something along those lines I finished this book um, I have been meaning to do this review a while um, a while back excuse me <coughs> and um but I decided to do other videos another video instead of this one first anyway so this is the um random family as I mentioned before this was given to me as a gift by one of my friends he was so nice to even include a gift receipt just in case I didn't like it which was very nice of him um this book is called random family love drugs trouble and coming of age in the Bronx um, this can be found in social science, other science, and sociology. At first, I thought you could find this in the non-fiction non -fiction section because these are story, well, the storyline um, is based on a true story, 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 and um, yeah, that's what I thought, and it was like, I thought it was going to be like a memoir type of thing, but it's not, it'll be like in a social sociology social fiction type of thing um sorry that was my cell phone um so random family is by adrian nicola blanc and i'll tell you a little bit more about adrian nicola blanc she um actually i did a little bit of research she actually she's a frequent um new um excuse me um new york excuse me, New York Times Magazine contributor. Um, this is her first novel, or her first book, excuse me. Um, and I am actually very impressed with this book. Not impressed as in, oh, I didn't think it was going to be a good book, but impressed as to, um, you know, sometimes when you grow up in the city you hear stories of certain things and you sometimes you don't want to believe it but they do happen um anyway so i'm gonna try to do a small synopsis on this um basically there are four main characters in this book well you can say three really um approximately six but three really are mentioned in the book constantly um, along with their daughters and sons. Okay, so it begins with Jessica. Jessica is the one on the um, cover. Jessica and Caesar are brother and sister. They have the same father. However, her father doesn't acknowledge her, but does her brother. Um, Jessica and Caesar have, I believe, four other brothers and sisters. Um, then it focuses on Jessica and her boyfriend, boy George, and Caesar and one of his girlfriends, Coco. Now, um, Jessica um, has various kids. I'm not going to go into too much detail of how she got pregnant. And all that because I don't want to spoil anything so but she has various kids I'll tell you that much um, her one and true love according to her is boy George but you'll see their relationship being a bit troublesome which causes her to eventually um, this is not kind of a spoiler but um, well it's just kind of sensitive in the back um, it causes her to serve time in jail because of this love of hers apparently for her that's the love of her life and um, then we have Caesar her little brother who they are really really close he on the other hand um, was looking for attention in the wrong places um, and therefore he also had to serve time in jail her his girlfriend excuse me his girlfriend Coco um, had two two kids with him? Yeah. Two kids with Coco. 
um, they claim to be each other's love of their lives. But um, if you read on into the book, there are so many other obstacles and um, that face that they each of these couples face when they're um, apart from each other. Um, their kids go through a lot as well, um, being that, for example, Jessica being in jail and you know having a daughter and other kids not being able to be there for them. It talks about a lot about her emotions and how she feels about that, and Caesar as well, how he expresses being away from his family. Um, they talk about the importance of um, school. Um, it also talks, talks about trust, like who you should trust, really. Um, love, of course, is a very um, constant theme in this book. Um, what else is prominent in this theme? Um, of course, um, drugs. Um, and it's based, this book um, is based in the Bronx. So, um, they mentioned certain areas in the Bronx. Um, it took, oh, I forgot to mention, it takes place in the 19, um, the late, like mid 1980s to the early 1990s, where kind of the, um, there was a huge, like, drug epidemic during that time. So, um, not if it's, well, yeah. Um, it was at its highest, you can say. Um, and pretty much, I really enjoyed this book. I At first, it was a little hard for me to get into because just getting all the names and all the brothers and sisters and blah, and the grandmother and the, and the aunt and this and the third. But it was really good. I really enjoyed this book. Um, I'm so grateful that I um, got to read this. It is also a National Book Credit Circle Award finalist you can see there and it's broken up in sections I color quarter mines in pink and purple post-its um but yeah so that was my kind of review was I'm sorry this is kind of lengthy I usually don't make my book reviews so lengthy again if you're interested in something out of you can say the norm because this is really I usually don't read um stuff like this but um this I really liked it and I hope to read more books like these um, soon, maybe, perhaps. Um, I haven't wrote, written a review on my blog, my blog for this book yet, so give me either a couple hours or a couple days just to um, write a review on this. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. I'm sorry that my video is running almost 9 minutes on this um, book. but. If you would like, um, you can get it at any um, bookstore or however you like to read your books. And anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I see you in my next video. Bye!